Hello and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing our friends at FaveDiets.com how to merge a classic shepherd's pie with the flavors of Italy. The bottom layer on this one is inspired by a classic bolognese sauce. And the mashed potatoes are flavored with garlic and ricotta cheese to take this shepherd's pie on a trip through the Italian countryside. And the best part is we'll be lightening up the whole dish by using lean ground turkey as the meat in this one. All right, let's get started. For the bottom layer, we'll need 20 ounces of lean ground turkey, two carrots, two ribs of celery, one medium onion, and one small zucchini, all diced, as well as one clove of garlic that's been minced. We'll also need a cup of peas. These are straight from the freezer. A cup of tomato sauce, one teaspoon of beef bouillon powder, one half cup of red wine, one half cup of milk, you might also need about two tablespoons of olive oil if your turkey's so lean that the pan gets completely dry, and some salt and pepper to taste. Then for the potato layer, you'll need two pounds of potatoes peeled and cut into one inch pieces, three cloves of garlic, halved, three quarters of a cup of part skim ricotta cheese, one half cup of milk, two tablespoons of butter, one egg yolk, and some salt and pepper to taste. All right, preheat the oven to 375 degrees, then add the diced potatoes and the three halved garlic cloves to a large pot of salted water and place it on the stove to boil. Then in a small bowl, stir together the ricotta cheese, diced butter, one egg yolk, half cup of milk, and salt and pepper to taste, then set this bowl aside. All right, then in a large nonstick skillet sprayed with nonstick spray, Crumble and brown the turkey with the bouillon powder. Now, if the pan is very dry at this point, you could also add a tablespoon of oil here. Once the turkey is nicely browned, add the garlic and all of the diced veggies and saute for five minutes. Then add the wine and let it simmer for another two minutes. Then add the tomato sauce and milk and stir everything to combine. Then lower the heat and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Then stir in the peas and turn off the heat. Once the potatoes are fork tender, drain them and return them to the pot and begin mashing. Then add the ricotta mixture and continue mashing until you've achieved the desired texture. At this point, you could additionally add some salt and pepper if you need to. Now spoon the meat mixture into the bottom of a greased 10 by 10 inch baking dish, then top with the mashed potatoes. At this point, you could use a fork to create a pattern on top where you could just use the back of a spoon to swirl the top around a little bit and then bake it uncovered at 375 degrees for 25 minutes and then it will be ready to serve. Now if you're having guests coming over you might want to consider making these in individual ramekins to make them look a little more upscale. But whichever way you choose to make it it's a really simple dish to prepare so I really hope you'll give it a try. And if you'd like to see the recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for more free healthy recipes and tips for virtually any diet, visit my friends at favediets.com. See you again soon.